Game and Drive – Tesla Makes It Happen We don't know about you, but driving is one of those activities to which we usually devote our undivided attention to, you know, for safety reasons. With that in mind, it's reasonable to conclude that integrating a gaming system into a car dashboard is a questionable idea. However, games may now be played while the Tesla Model 3 car is moving, rather than having to remain parked thanks to an over-the-air upgrade. Now that we know Tesla has self-driving cars, it's quite interesting to know more about their new invention. So let's see how Tesla makes it possible to game and drive at the same time. Welcome back to Big Brain Tech. If you're new to the channel, use that big, beautiful gray matter and do the wise thing. Like this video and subscribe so you'll get the latest videos. Tesla's in-dash video games can be played even while driving. According to a report in the New York Times, many Tesla vehicles allow drivers to play a variety of games on the infotainment system while driving. In the summer, the business apparently released an upgrade that allowed drivers to play Solitaire, Sky Force Reloaded, and the Battle of Polytopia Moonrise while driving. Before a game of Solitaire begins, the touchscreen is reported to display a warning. It reads, Solitaire is a game for everyone, but playing while the car is in motion is solely for passengers, implying that Tesla is aware that the game may be played while the car is moving. Although the players themselves know that they must be the passengers to play the game, the driver can still use the button to play the game. The driver can still look at the screen nevertheless to see what's going on. While Tesla's autopilot is activated, drivers are expected to maintain their hands on the steering wheel. But a new study found that when the mode is active, drivers become less vigilant. When the car is in motion, several touchscreen and infotainment features are disabled. In some automobiles, Stellantis, for example, allows drivers and passengers to watch a DVD on the dashboard screen, but only when the vehicle is parked. Tesla has added a number of games to its infotainment system in recent years, but they were only playable while the car was parked until recently, according to the New York Times. A New Tesla Safety Concern Tesla changed its software to let passengers play video games on the central touchscreen while driving, sparking concerns about driver attention and safety. Before, video games could only be played while the car was parked. According to the New York Times, an over-the-air software upgrade was put out last summer that allowed some games to be launched whether the car was parked or not, posing severe safety issues. Even before the upgrade, Several interactive apps in the car were in use, such as the drawing pad and the karaoke mode in music, which also advises the driver not to participate. When he discovered that the games could be played while driving in his Model 3, a Model 3 owner told the Times that he had filed a complaint with the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. That isn't the first time someone has made a complaint. There are now 59 Model 3 complaints on Tesla's website. According to Reuters, the NHTSA is discussing the problem of playable video games in moving vehicles with the corporation. Distraction-related crashes are a worry, the spokesperson told Reuters, especially in automobiles equipped with an array of convenience technology such as entertainment screens. We are aware of driver concerns and are speaking with a manufacturer about the feature. Tesla has a history of breaking safety regulations and rejecting government recommendations for improvements. The firm offers a full self-driving version of its Level 2 Advanced Driver Assistance System, which does not render its vehicles autonomous and needs drivers to remain alert while in use. The U.S. government has rekindled its interest in Tesla declaring recently that it was looking into occurrences involving Tesla cars operating on autopilot colliding with parked emergency vehicles. Tesla is also being questioned by the NHTSA regarding the growing public beta test of FSD, the recently launched safety score evaluation procedure for entry into the program and the non-disclosure agreements Tesla required participants to sign until recently. As manufacturers continue to remove tactile buttons and knobs from their automobiles, touchscreens are soon becoming the norm. 
As a result, many automobiles are getting more unsafe. Drivers can become distracted and gaze away from the road for up to 40 seconds per task, according to a 2019 study. Tesla has pioneered the use of over-the-air software updates in the auto industry, employing smartphone-style updates to bring features like greater driver assistance to its electric vehicles as well as ridiculous Easter eggs like James Bond mode. Tesla Arcade is a collection of video games that the firm has released. Tesla's full self-driving beta program, which allows drivers to employ autonomous steering, lane-keeping, and adaptive cruise control on local, non-highway streets, has begun deploying an internal camera to watch drivers. However, the great majority of Tesla vehicles don't include cameras that monitor driver eye movements to ensure that they remain focused on the road. U.S. Seeks More Information From Tesla On Distracted Drive Game Pro U.S. auto safety regulators said that they had requested further information from Tesla Inc. as part of their investigation into 580,000 vehicles related to the automaker's decision to enable passengers to play games on the front center touchscreen. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, or NHTSA, started a preliminary investigation into Tesla Model 3, X, and Y vehicles in December, citing the vehicle's passenger play feature, which may distract the driver and increase the risk of a crash, according to the agency. Tesla must provide a chronology of events and studies supporting its risk assessment and employment of front-seat non-driving related activities from in-vehicle-based devices, even if the activity is intended just for front-seat passengers, according to the NHTSA. Tesla did not respond to a request for comment right away. The NHTSA claimed that it had verified that this functionality has been available in Tesla passenger play equipped vehicles since December 2020, and that the game feature was only activated when the vehicle was in park before that. Tesla informed the NHTSA last December 23rd that it will no longer allow video games to be played on vehicles' screens while the vehicles are in motion. Moreover, Tesla alerted NHTSA that a software upgrade will lock the passenger play feature and render it unusable while the vehicle is in motion. The company was asked by the NHTSA to respond by March 4 and provide trip counts in which game use occurred while the shift indication was in drive, as well as usage where vehicle sensors did not detect an occupant in the front passenger seat. It also wants information on any driver intervention measures or active safety measures that occurred while the game was being played. After a series of collisions involving the system and parked emergency vehicles, the government initiated a safety inquiry into 765,000 Tesla vehicles in August over its driver assistance technology autopilot. A preliminary evaluation is the first stage before the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration decides whether to escalate a probe to an engineering analysis, which is required before the agency can demand a recall. Mercedes-Benz recalled 227 vehicles in the United States on November 29th because the vehicle infotainment systems could allow activation of the television and internet display while driving, causing driver distraction. In 2013, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, or NHTSA, issued guidelines encouraging automakers to consider safety and driver distraction prevention in the design and use of entertainment systems in automobiles. Tesla is known for its strange designs, such as the Cybertruck and Cyberquad, but this may be the company's most perplexing design yet. Let us know what you think in the comments. Now use that big beautiful gray matter and do the wise thing. Like this video and subscribe if you haven't already so you'll get the latest videos. And be sure to check the archive and watch these informative videos from Big Brain Tech.